So, hello everyone and welcome. This tutorial will be about brightness control. Brightness control we always need in many different occasions, so that's why I will walk you through this here. We do have many different ways of controlling our brightness through the Astera app and I will also walk you through. We have four different levels, so we have the master brightness, we have the set brightness, the program brightness and also the color brightness. I guess you will figure out once we are done where to use these and where it makes most sense for you guys as well. First things first, we of course have to go to the brightness control. This is one of the five tabs, what I have down at the bottom. So the sun tab, which is also highlighted here. As you see up on the top, we do have the master, so we can basically just slide it and we will have the possibility simply just to dim down all the lights what we have currently connected with the Astera app. So this is basically an overall master brightness also affecting all the sets or groups you already have created. When we go to the next one, which is then the set brightness, we of course have to go to our target page. So right here, I already have created three individual sets for my three tubes. So whenever I, for instance, push the sun icon here, the brightness control will come up for this specific set and it's of course only one tube so we will also have them reacting to this. When we go to the next one which is then the set brightness we of course have to go to our target page so right here I already have created three individual sets for my three tubes so whenever I for instance push the sun icon here the brightness control will come up for this specific set and it's of course only one tube so we will also have them reacting to this. Adjusting the brightness here on the target page can also be done in the brightness control tab which is exactly the same setting so you will also see we are able to control the sets individually on this page which is the same as when we go back here and adjust this one. So jumping on here to program brightness, which also in some occasions can be very helpful. So let's go to the program effect page. I already cheated a bit. So I already have two effect programs, 4000 Kelvin, one with 20% and 100%. It just means that you can save the brightness in the effect tile. So whenever you launch it, it will also recall the saved brightness level. But let's try create a third one. So we will just create one here, capture current effect and lay it here. Now we can go to the editor because I want this one to be 40%. You can of course adjust the color, you can also choose a different effect, that doesn't have to be a static color. But when we for instance scroll down here now, you will see the brightness slider. I can double tap it and simply just write 40, hit OK and we all already now have the 40%. Now we can for instance rename it, I would just call it 4000, OK. And then here 40%, hit the save button, now we have these three. So when I, for instance, push the 20 now, you will also see that they actually dim down and recalls the brightness I already saved. Then we can push the 40%, you will also see it actually adjusts, and also the 100%. Now, when we have to talk about the fourth brightness level, what we have is the color brightness. So let's just jump into the editor because that's where the magic of this one happens. We can, for instance, just open our color here go to the HSI. So let's say you are working a lot with HSI one of the days, we can simply just slide it around. But down in the bottom, you also have the option simply just to dim down this exact color. If we are talking about color gels, we can for instance go here, take the lavender tint, then we can hit the heart with the plus button so it comes onto our favorite list of colors then simply just mark it and press the little pencil. Now you will see the lightness here. We can also adjust and simply just dim down our color as you wish. So talking about the color brightness, we can do it within the custom colors or we can do it directly in our HSI editor. The reason why we have the color brightness is simply if you do a fade between two colors, and one is brighter to the camera, then you can fast dim down the brighter one to make it look even to the camera as well. So there is lots of ways to set the brightness 
of your lights. Simply just choose what fits the application. Going a bit back to the set brightness is a little bit special because one light can actually be in four different sets at a time. Also means that you cannot have four different sets controlling the brightness on one light. So one of the sets for this light will then be the master, but we can change this. As I told you, one set with the lights assigned can only be the master of the lights. And it's actually like that, then the, that the last created set is the one controlling the brightness. So we have all the three tubes in the last created sync set, which also means that we can just assign an effect and then we can go ahead and dim down the brightness. There can only be one brightness control on one of the sets for the lights. So when we, for instance, want to adjust one of the lights now, as you see right here, it doesn't react. And that's intentionally, simply because the last set will be the master. However, if we want to be able to change the brightness of one of the lights, might be the case on set, then we can go back to the list of lights. Then we can, for instance, highlight and say, okay, not this one, we want the bottom one to be able to control the brightness, then go into the light, then you will see that we have the sets here. Now, at the moment, the sun icon is highlighted on the sink. That's normal because that's the last created set with the light. When we change this to the individual lights target, then we now can control it individually instead of dimming down or adjusting the brightness on the whole set. So if you, for instance, see now the last individual target, the Titan 525, then we can take the brightness and instead of adjusting the whole set, we can adjust one of the tubes. In case you want to go back to control them all three individually, you will need to go to the list of lights, change the master brightness on each one of the lights, which one has control. And you will also see when we take the sync set with all three lights, it's only the two tubes because we changed the third tube to the individual target. So working with multiple sets where one light is assigned to more sets at one time, then you can choose which set controls the brightness when one or multiple lights is assigned to multiple sets as well. And always keep in mind, the last set you create is the one that have the control of the brightness. So we have now reached the end. I hope you have learned a bunch of things. If you are eager to learn even more, visit our webpage astero-led.com academy. Thank you for watching.